You know, this is the authority I've been praying for all my life. God, give me authority over circumstances. Give me authority over the days of men. And we have that authority that we can speak over the days of men and say tomorrow morning is a different day from all the days of your life. And man will ask a question, has there ever been a day like this, even the days of your forefathers? That something will happen over a day because someone arose and by divine authority spoke over a day. This is the day of favor. This is the day of my uplifting. This is a day without problems. This is a day without calamity. This is a day without evil. It's the good day. It is the acceptable day of the Lord. It's the day of jubilee. It's the day of vengeance. It's the day of judgment. Anything that was ever taken from me is being restored over this day. It's the day of joy. It's the day of... In the day of my power. Systems work for me. Over this day, whatsoever that I speak to manifests. This is my day. The day that the Lord has given me. I shall not fail over this day. I will not lack anything that is good. This is my day. Oh day. Day, oh day. Hear the word of the Lord. I will not be sick on this day. Man cannot ignore me on this day. Anything that has failed any other day, but on this day, but on this day, David says, he says, Lord, give me the wisdom to number my days. So I can, I can go through the days of my life and I can call up a day like the man who spoke to an altar and say, day oh day. Let me, let me tell you something. Demons are very strategic and demons choose days. It's true. That's why the Bible talks about an evil day. Because demons choose days. There are specific days that they come. We're going to speak to those days. I know my evil days. We're going to speak to those days. And we're going to give restriction orders. There are things we are going to restrict. You are not allowed. You are not allowed. You cannot. You are not allowed. Every day of unfruitfulness in the name of Jesus, day or day, hear me. You are cast as of this day, you are restricted as of this very hour. Any day of calamity, any day where things go wrong, hear me now. As of this day, you are cast, you will dry up from the roots. Shapelemandio ela soprae ila rosheba la hai lia hato shatai every king every noble that empowers the the structures of men on earth I bind you with chains and fetters of iron. I cripple you and declare you can no longer function. You no longer have influence. You no longer have impact. I command, I declare you are null and void. And Tabaso, Elia Hoy, Ele Soya, Iskapai. In I render you invalid. Here's what I'm sensing. Here's what I'm sensing. Here's what I'm sensing. I sense that some of us, we need to declare appointed days. Like, you know what I'm seeing right now in these declarations? I see people who it's almost like you are. 
it's like you are missing appointments some of you here have been you've been having dreams like you miss your plane or you it's like you're supposed to catch a bus and and you miss a bus you're supposed to i i sense i see that in the spirit people who've had dreams where you are supposed to go somewhere it's like you miss your 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 appointment and god is saying that there are some people here it's like i see appointed days that keep being shifted further and further you know it's like you know you are supposed to have a, a uh, um, an interview uh, but it keeps being shifted you you don't know about it yet but wherever it's supposed to happen it keeps being shifted some people you're supposed to have business meetings like like decision making life changing business meetings but the dates keep on being shifted I see dates that are being shifted further and further and God says we must arrest those days and we must settle them now Lord in Jesus name this is the heritage of the servants of God this is the honor of the saints I call forth any date right now I call forth all appointments that have been shifted now by the power of the Holy Ghost I command be settled in the name of Jesus Business meetings, be settled. Appointments for interviews, be settled. Meetings with men who matter on earth, be settled. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I will not miss my appointment. I will not miss my appointed day. Marital dates, marital dates, that has delayed, be settled. now here's what I want you to here's what I want you to do here's what I want you to do we are you are now numbering the days of your life yeah God give me the wisdom to number the days of my life there are appointments that must be cancelled now in the spirit we're gonna a, a cancel appointments with with disappointment with calamity with sickness with death with failure that any day that has been determined in evil courts and councils that we are taking here on this day that we're going to take a husband on this day we're going to take her money on this day we are now going to cancel that by the words of your mouth like jesus spoke to a tree he said you will be unfruitful no man will ever eat of you you will drive from the root and the bible says and the next day when the disciples saw the tree they remember this is the tree that he spoke to i want us right now to cancel every appointment every appointment in the name of jesus we arise right now by the power of the holy ghost Lord, we cancel appointments with disappointments. We cancel appointments with death. We cancel appointments with sickness. Right now, in the name of Jesus, Shabayata, Entalia Solaha, Malia Palasoda, the evil death. Lord, we redeem time. Meetings that would have 
See them that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but wise. Uh -huh. Verse 16. Redeeming the times because the days are evil. Here's what, here's what Paul is talking about, is, is saying. He's saying, look, you live in evil days. The days, the, the days of, of men's life are evil days. And when he's talking about the evil, yes, he may mean that, you know, days are evil, people do all manner of things that are, that are evil and stuff. But evil days are also days that are appointed for the believer. Where you, have you guys went, gone through days that you look at and you say, this is the worst day of my life. Where anything that could go wrong just goes wrong. You, you and you're trying to close this and then that. And Paul says days are evil. But, but he's somewhat, here's the wisdom. In, in verse 15, he says, walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. He says, this is wisdom. Wisdom is the ability to redeem time. Now, redeeming time is doing the impossible. Because if you really think about it, you can't redeem time. Yesterday was the 18th. The morning of yesterday, the 18th, I can't buy it back. I can't try and go back and say I want that to relieve that moment and that it's, it's gone. When it's gone, it's gone. Once something is in the past, it means it cannot be accessed anymore. And the word redeem, that means to buy back. It's something that was lost that then you can buy back. So he's saying, actually, in the wisdom of God is the ability to buy back time. That some of us, you see right now, We've made declarations on days that are to come. We've declared you will be good days. And also on the days that are to come, we've declared we cancel every appointment with evil in those days. Now, I want you guys to also redeem the days that have been lost. Please, I've got to say this. Please, just, just please. Uh, no. and I want to put up another scripture. Can I, you give me a... Because I want to show you something and how we're going to pray our last prayer. In Joel chapter 2, go to Joel chapter 2. I think it's, verse, it's from verse 12 or verse 14. He talks about the restoration of years. Just find that verse for me. Where the Bible says, and I will restore to you the years. I will restore to you. It's, it's verse 35, Joel 2, 35. 25, thank you. I will restore to you. Some of, us, some of us guys, we just need some years restored, man. It's been years of just bad decisions and, and years where things had, had gone wrong. And we just need those years restored. It says, I will restore to you the years. But, but I want you to see something. Who eats the years? Some people's years are in the, are in the bellies of demons. It says, swarming locusts. Crawling locusts, consuming locusts, and chewing locusts. Do you see that? I will restore to you the years that the swarming locusts, my great army, I send amongst you. So the years have been eaten by locusts. Swarming locusts are a type of locusts that usually will come as a group. When one shows up, they, they show up, they show up as an army, and they eat up everything that is before them. Have you guys seen the disasters of, of, of farms that have been eating up by locusts, crops that have been so swarming locusts are locusts that eat up stuff. It's you've worked and worked and worked so much. And just as you are at harvest, where, where whatever that you had planted has now germinated and has fully grown and can be seen by all men, they come and destroy there's a type of spirit called the swarming locust so that they put you in shame and disgrace so that when people talk about you they always talk about your former self that's what that's what those do and they eat up years secondly put it up again there's another another type of, of locust and then he says the crawling locusts these are locusts that eat plants just as they germinate 
So what would have happened is that we would have planted a seed. The seed would have fought the land and the ground. And just as it germinates, the crawling locusts come. So some of us, we've planted stuff and, and just as, and this is, this is, this is a, the experiences of the swarming locusts. You find yourself in, in, your life is always in the almost. I almost got it. You know, we worked on that deal so hard and it was about to pay us millions. And then when we were just about to get it right, I, I went through the interviews, I went through the psychometric test. I, I, I would just as I got to the end, I got a regret letter. Swarming locusts. Let me show you another, another type of locust. Put it up again. The third, third type of locust. And the chewing locust. These are locusts that are underground just as the seed buds underground they've already eaten it and it's so it's so deceptive because when a seed is eaten where your eyes cannot see you think nothing ever happened but there was already a process that was happening and you walk around with a deception in your heart that the things of God don't work because you never see them and you don't realize that as they were germinating in the unseen underground they already came under attack and some people have believed in their hearts that ah, there's things that don't work. No, it's this type. And of course, the, the consuming locust. This consuming locust, immediately as you plant a seed, they take it. And it's almost as if anything that your hand stretches out to touch, anything that your hand puts an effort on, immediately, as quickly as your efforts are applied, quickly also is that thing taken away from you. And then the Bible takes all of that and it culminates it into years. It says, if you want to see these attacks, check the days of your life. That's why he, he, he is, he's not even saying I'm going to go and, uh, and cause the locusts to, to, to vomit. And he says, I am now going to summon years. The restoration that must take place must be in the, in the realms of the days of your life. So for God to deal with locusts, he must summon days. That's what's happening here. He must summon the times of your life. When God is saying redeem time, he's saying I'm dealing with something that is much deeper. Ah, this is the heritage of the servants of God. This is the honor that he has put on all his saints father in the name of jesus lord we arise right now as the church in the wisdom that you have given us we now redeem time in the name of jesus we now call back time we now call forth time in the name of the lord jesus the years of my life that were put to evil the years of my life that were spent in places where I was not supposed to be. The years of my life where I was robbed. The years of my life that are without justice. Now, oh God, I command written judgment and vengeance in the name of Jesus against locusts that have eaten up. And I command now, let the years of my life be restored now. Let redemption take place now. Katole Maria Sone, Libri Bebelo Sebagadola, Zamaliato, Infelehai, Sapalasu. Anyone that has the years of my life in their hands, I command them, release them now in the name of Jesus. Any piece of land that has the years of my, of my life, I command them, release them now. Antonia Sobre, Sumrede, Luceve, Intabai, release them now. I speak to the swarming locusts. I speak to the crawling locusts. I speak to the consuming locusts. I demand the years of my life that were wasted. Those that I know, 
those that I don't know. Return them now. Empire. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, come on. Speak to it. Do not be silent this morning. Please do not be silent. You can be silent any other morning. Not this morning. This is an important morning. Your mouth is bringing things to pass. There are conclusions that have been made in the spirit on the basis of what you have said. There are great implications in the spirit from the things that your mouth shall speak. Restoration of the earth in the mighty name of Jesus. go back to 1st Kings 13 in verse 6. Now I'd ask you just to open your calendar on your, on, your, on your phone because I want you to speak to days and I want you to command the days of your life. Those of you guys that have specific days that are important days, you know, whether in business, in your career, with your family, if you have anything that you know that is an important day or your birthday, whatever, we're going to command that day. Verse, verse 5, verse 5, verse 5. We're going we're gonna to command it that day. And, and look at verse 5. It says, the altar was split apart and the ashes poured out from the altar according to the sign which the man of God had spoken by the word of the Lord. And I want you to speak over those days by the word of the Lord. And that whatever that you will speak, there will be signs that will manifest on that day. Manifest on that day. Signs that will manifest on that day. Can I ask you guys also just to mark the 1st of June? Mark the 1st of June. Mark the 1st of June. Like, um, you know, especially when we move from 1st to 2nd. So I, I, I see the dawning of a, of, of, a, of a day I, I see an unveiling you know it's like in the spirit I just saw a hand open a page and I saw a, a clean slate yeah clean slate you know like God just saying like you know mark that first second first second June uh, just a clean slate clean slate thank you father do, do, did you mark the date Mark, mark the date. Maybe just raise it up a little bit, you know. Just as if it's, it's it, 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 it can be multiple days, you know. It can be the whole calendar from today till the end of the year for, for you know. But if you've got a, a day, I want you to just lift it up. Um, just your, in a, the lifting up of your phone is just like a sign to say, Lord, I lift up this day or I lift up these days. I lift up these days. And I, and I want to speak to those days now from a place of high authority. Place of high authority. I've been given power and authority. The Bible says, and it came to pass, the sign came to pass as the men of God spoke. And right now in the name of the Lord Jesus, I take authority as the men of God and authority in this place. And I make a declaration over the day 
and the days that you have highlighted in the name of Jesus I command the power of God over those days in the name of Jesus I command angels to be released right now to those days to make possible the desires of the saints to make possible your highest heart's desire for this is the will of God for your life I declare that on those days there shall be no calamity on those days there shall be no disappointment on those days there shall be days of good news you shall it shall be days on which you meet with important men on earth it shall be days where decision makers will say yes to you will say yes to your purpose in the name of Jesus I command that any altar that speaks against that day that it be broken now and that its ashes be poured out in the name of Jesus I declare over the days of your life that the goodness of God the angels of God called goodness and mercy are now stationed over those days I declare divine possibility over these days I declare what has been impossible with man is now possible with God over those days of your life in the name of Jesus I declare that on those days you are untouchable by demons over those days I now give restriction orders to the kingdom of darkness over these days I declare that the kingdom of darkness does not have the right to intercept to interfere and to mess up with those days in the name of Jesus I restrict them now by divine judgment by divine vengeance by judicial authority I declare that these days are appointment with heaven I declare that the days that you have chosen shall be the days of heaven on earth in the name of Jesus if you believe that give God a shout and a hand thank you Jesus thank you Lord Jesus thank you Lord Jesus thank you father